What's good, YouTube? It's your boy P Money. Blazers get a 126 118 victory over the Dallas Mavericks. Let's go for all the team stats. For the Mavs, they shoot 43 of 87 for 49% from the field. They go 10 of 30 for 33% from three point land. They get 22 of 25 for 88% on their free throws. Of their 43 made baskets, they get 20 assists. They pull down 35 rebounds, six of those offensive. They get eight steals, six blocks, and 11 turnovers. For the Blazers, they shoot 45 of 91 for 50% from the field. They go 16 of 36 for 44% from three point land. They go 20 of 25 for 80% from the free throw line. Of their 45 made baskets, they get 23 assists. They pull down 48 rebounds. They get 12 offensive. They get six steals, four blocks, and 14 turnovers. Individual stats for the Mavericks go Luka Donich leads the way with 24 points on 8 of 16 shooting. He goes 1 of 4 from 3, 7 of 7 from the free throw line. He gets a negative 7. He pulls down five rebounds, gets six assists, and has two turnovers. So, excellent game from Luka Donich leading his team. <clears throat> and Luka's going to be a problem in this league for a very long time. Jalen Brunson finishes up with 16 points on 6 of 10 shooting. He goes all of 1 from 3, 4 of 4 from the free throw line. Finished up with a negative 19. He pulled down 2 rebounds, had 3 assists, and 2 steals. And most of his work was done in the first quarter. And after that, he wasn't really much of a factor anymore. Tim Hardaway Jr. goes for 14 points on 5 of 10 shooting. He goes 2 of 5 from 3, 2 of 2 from the foul line. Finished up with a negative 18. He also dished out 3 assists. Dwight Powell finished up with 5 points on 2 of 4 shooting. He goes 1 of 3 from 3. Doesn't take any free throws. Finishes up with a negative 15. He pulled, two, he pulled down two offensive rebounds. Had nine total. Got himself two, uh, two turnovers, a steal, and a block. <laughs> the big man, Dirk Nowitzki, goes for three points on one of three shooting. He goes 0 of 1 from three. Finishes up 1 of 1 from the foul line. He got a negative six. He pulled down two rebounds. Had a turnover and a block. And that starts out the starting five for the Mavs. For the bench, Justin Jackson leads the way with 21 points on 8 of 15 shooting. He goes 3 of 8 from 3, 2 of 2 from the foul line. Finished up with a negative 2. He pulled down 2 offensive rebounds, had 4 total, and got himself an assist. And solid game from Justin Jackson, especially offensively. Was cutting to the basket hard. Got himself... He just got himself going and got into a rhythm, and it was hard to, to stop him tonight. Trey Burke, Mr. Buckets, gets 15 points on 5 of 9 shooting. He goes all of 1 from 3, 5 of 6 from the free throw line. He finished up with a team high plus 11. He pulled down an offensive rebound, had an assist, got two turnovers and a block. So, excellent game offensively from Trey Burke. And maybe he probably should have shot a little bit more than 9 times. And then they have Measury with seven points on three of three shooting. He goes over, or, or no, one of one from three. Finishes up with a negative five. He pulled down three rebounds, had an assist, had three turnovers, got a steal and a block. So, stat sheet stuffing. Devin Harris finishes up with five points on two of four shooting. Goes one of two from three. Finished up with a plus three. He pulled down a rebound and had two assists. And Brockoff had three points on one of two shooting. He went one of two from three. Finished up with a plus eight. He pulled down an offensive rebound and had three total. Courtney Lee had two points on one of five shooting. He goes all of one from three. Finished up with a plus 11. He pulled down two rebounds, had two assists, and got himself two steals. Dorian Finney-Smith had two points on one of two shooting, or one of four shooting, I'm sorry. Over one from three. He finished up with a negative. He pulled down two rebounds, 
had an assist as well. Giannis Antetokounmpo's younger brother, Costas Antetokounmpo, finishes up with one point. He goes 0 of 2 from the, from, uh, the field, finishes up 1 of 2 from the free throw line. He got himself a plus 8. He pulled down a rebound, had a turnover, and got himself two steals. For the Blazers, Damian Lillard leads the way with 33 points on 9 of 18 shooting. He goes 6 of 12 from 3, 9 of 10 from the free throw line. Finished up with a plus 24. He pulled down two offensive rebounds, had five total. Got himself 12 steals, only had one turnover, or 12 assists, I'm sorry. Only had one turnover and got himself two steals. So excellent game from Dame Lillard. While his running mate, CJ, rests up. And we got a little bit of news, updating news on CJ McCullum later on. Big Nurkic finishes up with 13 points on six of eight shooting. He goes one of two from the free throw line. Finished up with a team high plus 25. He pulled down 10 off or 10 rebounds. Got himself a turn. He had, a, had himself a turnover and got a block. So, excellent game from Nurt. Double-double. Jake Lehman comes back to life with 13 points on 4 of 10 shooting. He goes 3 of 6 from 3, 2 of 2 from the foul line. Finished up with a negative 8. He pulled down 3 rebounds and had himself a block as well. So, excellent game offensively from Jake Lehman. Mo Harkless finished up with 10 points on 4 of 6 shooting. He goes 2 of 2 from 3. Finished up with a plus 19. He pulled down an offensive rebound, had 3 total. He dished out an assist, had 2 turnovers, got himself 2 steals and 2 blocks. So, excellent all-around game from Mo Harkless. Al Farouk Aminu finishes out the starting 5 with 6 points on 2 of 6 shooting. He goes 1 of 4 from 3, 1 of 1 from the foul line. He finished up with a plus 22. He pulled down four off, four rebounds and had two turnovers. Seth Curry off the bench against his old team goes off for 20 points on 8 of 16 shooting. He goes 4 of 7 from 3. Finished up with a negative 9. He pulled down an offensive rebound, had 5 total. Got himself an assist, had two turnovers and two steals. So excellent game from Seth Curry. Showing his old team what, they're, what they've been missing. Uh, Enos Cantor finished up with 14 on 6 of 11 shooting. He goes 2 of 2 from the foul line. He also finished up with a plus 9, or negative 9, I'm sorry. He pulled down a game high, 8 offensive rebounds, had 10 total. He just out 4 assists, had 3 turnovers, so excellent game from Enos Cantor, showing off all of his skills tonight. Rodney Hood finished up with 8 points on 3 of 5 shooting. He went 0 of 2 from 3. 2 of 2 from the foul line. Finished up with a plus 4. He dished out 2 assists as well. So, excellent game offensively. And a little bit in the facilitator role for Rodney Hood tonight. Evan Turner finished up with 4 points on 2 of 5 shooting. He goes for a negative 3. He pulled down 5 rebounds. Had 3 assists. And had only 1 turnover. So, Evan Turner looking very good tonight. Especially with his shot. I liked all of his shots that he took. He took five tonight, and I liked all of them. They all looked like they were going to go in, but of course, sometimes they don't always fall. Zach Collins finished up with three points on one of five shooting. He went one of two, or oh of two from three, one of two from the foul line. Finished up with a negative 16. He pulled down two rebounds and had a turnover. So, we also had the young rookies getting in tonight. And for Simons, he finished up with two points, didn't take any shots, but went two of two of four from the free throw line and finished up with a negative eight. Gary Trent Jr. He went 0 of one, which he took for three. Finished up with a negative one. He pulled down a rebound and got a turnover. So all around, excellent game from the Blazers tonight. Uh, for game notes, Dane Lillard shines once again. He had 33 points, 5 rebounds, 12 assists, 2 steals. Uh, in, this, in the first quarter, he went for 10 points and dished out 4 assists. And in the third quarter, when they pretty much blew the game open, he went for 18 points, hit 4 threes. He was just amazing tonight. And 
also in that facilitator role stepping in those passing lanes he's just one of those one of the best players in the league right now hands down uh, let me see Seth Curry off the bench had a huge game Went for the 20 points also grabbed five rebounds had two steals just looking excellent against his former team Mo Harkless excellent all around game he gave us 10 points tonight Hit both of his three pointers, had those three rebounds, got those two two steals and two blocks. So huge game from Mo Harkless. Enos Cantor and Big Nurkic both getting double doubles tonight. They I think they both played around 23 minutes a piece, and they both were producing. So this is what I like to see from the big men. They're all producing. Even though Zach Collins didn't have a great game offensively. Like he has in the past few games. Well, not really offensively, but I mean, even he's he was solid still tonight too. Uh, Jake Lane coming back with those 13 points, big time. And that's just what we're gonna have to do while C.J. McCollum's out resting that knee. And tonight there were six Blazers and double figures. Luka Doncic. Has another great game against the Blazers. And he might be one of those guys that they label the uh, Blazers killer if, <laughs> if they don't stop letting him go off like he does. Justin Jackson off the bench had 21 points. Jalen Brunson had 16. Hardaway 14. Burke 15. They just didn't really get enough from anyone else. I mean, Dwight Powell, he played a lot of minutes but only scored five. Uh, let me see. Dirk, I mean, he only plays about 14 minutes, but he only shot three times. So, they just don't have that firepower anymore. Uh, Let me see. Oh, next game up for the Blazers is against the Pistons. And we actually have to play them two times in the next seven days. And the next, well, on Saturday. That Saturday. It's the 23rd, and then we play them again in Detroit on the 30th. So we see them up close and personal. So I'm looking forward to that game going up against Andre Jumman, uh, Blake Griffin, Reggie Jackson, and the other guys. Looking, so, looking forward to seeing how the Blazers match up with them without CJ, seeing if that the steady pace of offense just keeps coming and I don't think I don't think uh, Detroit can hang with the Blazers right now even without CJ McCullough for the playoff race Utah moves up to fifth seed right now because they won tonight against the Knicks they destroyed the Knicks and then right now I would have to look a little bit into like the the conference records and whatnot of the teams, but I, I believe right now OKC is in seventh seed because they're tied with uh, the Spurs, who they've lost the season series two to one against. So I put them ahead of OKC right now. So right now, in my opinion, OKC is the seventh seed. San Antonio's the sixth, and then they got the Clippers as the eighth seed. So. We'll see how this goes. Right now, three teams are tied for that six seed. <laughs> they all got the same record, so it's bundled up right now. We'll see how that goes. As far as the injury updates for CJ, according to Dame in an interview yesterday after, or was it yesterday? I think it was after the game the other night. On I believe that was Monday, where he was just saying that he just hopes that CJ just goes ahead and rests up and hopefully he can get back during the playoffs because there's not really much as far as research about this injury. The only other per- player that's had it in the NBA was KG back in 2009. And he ended up missing 13 games and tried to get back for the playoffs but ended up re-injuring himself. So hopefully, for CJ's sake, the same fate doesn't happen. But he's already pretty optimistic I think everybody around the team is pretty optimistic on him getting back and being the player that he's been so 
if he does have to sit out the rest of the season, that's all right with me. Because Blazers are playing really well. Like, the, the schedule isn't super crazy yet. We got the Nuggets twice. We got Detroit twice. We got Sacramento. We got the Lakers. And a couple of other guys, but nothing, nothing that puts fear into me. So, I think that we can... If, if need be, I think we could get all of those games if need be. But hopefully we'll see how this goes. Got that Pistons game up next. And then after that, we got Brooklyn at home. And then after that, we got a three-game road road trip, I believe it is, against Chicago and all that. But that's nothing to be worried about. This is your boy, Pete Money. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe.